Hey everyone, this time we're gonna check out something we've gone over before, but we're gonna update some things and make it way easier for you. We're talking quick chords and making a shortcut. Inside Studio One, if you have some kind of instrument track and perhaps it just has a melody or like your bass line or something like that, Studio One, and I'm sure other DAWs out there, but Studio One has the feature where you can quickly create chords using a macro. I've done a video about that before, but today we're gonna go one step further and we're gonna assign some keyboard shortcuts to make these chords even faster. Let's dive into the DAW. So here we are inside of our session and there's really not a lot going on. I literally just threw this together and I made random notes. Here's our starting point. So very simple. Honestly, I just clicked them in, made sure it sounded sort of okay. But let's say that this is our bass, this is our generic melody that we wanna build around. So let me show you how we did it in the original video. I'm gonna go to this very first note here and I'm gonna have it selected. Inside my edit window, I'm gonna go to the top bar and I'm gonna hit this button, which is the same as in your standard window. This is the macros button. When you open up macros, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you're in music editing. There's a bunch of choices in here, but I went with music editing. Underneath here, you have pitch. So we have things like transpose. We can go up, we can go down, we can do the same pitch, a plus or minus certain number of octaves. We can also just go into pitch and say, well, chord up or chord down. We only have one note right now. We can invert pitches and make intervals, etc., etc., etc. But we want to go over here to double. And on the bottom of double is create chords. Here we have major triad, minor triad, sus chords, augmented, seventh chords. We have lots of options in here. So let's go ahead and just make this first one major seventh chord. And you see it very quickly just added in the notes it needed to make a major seventh chord with the bass note being E. Here it is. So there you go, there's our major seventh chord. And just so that it's not super duper high, I'm gonna hold down shift and hit the down arrow and just drop this an octave just to make it a little easier on our ears because that high note was just kind of killing me right there. But that's how to do it the long way, open the menu, go to double, create chords, etc., etc. There's an easier way to do it with macros because that's what we're activating right now. We're in our macro toolbar so let's find the keyboard shortcuts for all of these things. So I have it set so that I hit Command K on my machine. If you can do that on yours by assigning the keyboard shortcut, but go into your preferences under general keyboard shortcuts. You could navigate through and scroll and find macros and then find the macro, but I'm gonna just go ahead and type chord into the search function here. And here's my macros, chord down, chord up. These are the things we saw in transpose. But now look, major seventh chord, minor seventh chord, sus augmented. Here's some of our macros. So let's go ahead and do, I wanna do a sus four chord just to be crazy. And let's come up with any kind of random keyboard shortcut. I did control option shift U. That's what I did. You do whatever keyboard shortcut you want on your side. So I'm gonna assign that, hit apply. I could have hit okay, but I'm gonna hit apply. So now let's try this second one. For me, that was control, option, shift, and the letter U, bam. Now we have our sus chord immediately put in. So if we hit the two chords that we just created using the macros, Now we're very quickly creating chords. Let's go back into our keyboard shortcut. So we actually just want to, maybe I would just want a major triad. Boom, macros, major triad, here we go. Let's do the same thing. Here's a new keyboard shortcut. I'm just using the same combo, control, option, shift, and now I did Y. So here we go, it's in there. This one, beep boop bop. Now I have a major triad. And for this last one, let's go ahead and just make a minor triad. So we'll type that in, minor triad, come up with some kind of keyboard shortcut, apply it in, and here we go. Now we have this one, minor triad. 
Next one. Let's go back with one of those sus chords and we'll do a major over here. And now I'm very quickly going in and just creating different chords. I don't think we even did a keyboard shortcut for the major seventh. Nope, we didn't. And that's okay. So let's grab this one and assign something here. You can put all kinds of keyboard shortcuts and immediately use them. So even after all of that, let's grab this guy, shift, down arrow to drop an octave, and I'm just gonna do the single note. So now we started with a melody, and we instantly have all of these chords. Now, do they fit in this song? No, this is an example. This is probably gonna be a nightmare to listen to because I just made random chords, and I'm doing it again. There we go. So that quickly, you can start with a melody or a bass line or something and use keyboard shortcuts to create a masterpiece or the next step in your production, because it could turn out like this. Does that work in your production? That is up to you. But this is a way to more quickly create those chords and move on to the next part, filling this production in to whatever it's going to become. So there you go. There is a faster way to create chords inside Studio One when we're working with MIDI or an instrument track. The whole thing is you have to assign it to whatever works for you. Find the style chord you're looking for, major, minor, seventh, sus chord. There's a lot of different options already built in. You just have to give it a keyboard shortcut so that you can go through them. Plus, if you have something like the Elgato Stream Deck, you can put those shortcuts on there and just really go flying through going note, chord, note, chord, lay it out, and then you can very quickly just hit those buttons and build your chords and then you're off to the races. I hope you found something informative about this. There's a lot of things you can do if you just find the keyboard shortcut for it that'll make things way faster and easier. If you found anything informative, please share this around and leave a comment down below letting me know that this helped you. Until next time, happy mixing, happy writing, and take care of yourself.